Da. 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 Uh, hello everyone, Ryan here. So, Next Life by Ray Armentrout is a pretty interesting poetry collection. I uh, recently read this. Of course, it is a part of my April TBR. Uh, it's a pretty quick read. I mean, no more than 70 some pages. And I like that. Most of the poems seem to be abstract in a way, uh, but also philosophical and also seem to be some kind of commentary on different things like religion and pop culture. And uh, But it's done in a playful kind of way, not really, not really in like a point the, fl- point the finger kind of way. So, I definitely like that. This is definitely my kind of poetry. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's. I, I kind of. I feel like it's a shame that this is the kind of poetry that isn't widely accepted by most people. Um, but then again, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like, as far as the general public goes, usually. Usually, uh, most people tend to be, I guess, I mean, I don't want to say ignorant. <laughs> I guess, I guess kind of ignorant, but, you know, mostly misinformed when it comes to uh, what poetry should or shouldn't be. So, I mean, I've always felt like poetry has no ru- rules or boundaries or limits I mean yeah you could say that that when it comes to writing certain kinds of poems you know there there are some kind of guidelines and but overall I never believed that uh, that all poems like have to adhere to a certain certain standards or anything so yeah, I guess what I'm saying is uh, I do like this poetry collection. <laughs> uh, I also like that the way most of these poems are formatted, where it's like there's like, like the first two lines, and then there's like a break, and then the next two lines, another break, and then like one line or another break. And, and also, too, there's these like pause marks in between certain lines after certain lines um I mean which for me I'm uh, I consider them to be pause marks I don't know what else they can be (laughs) but I feel like the author maybe like added those in order to get the reader to pause at least for a couple seconds before moving on to the next the next uh line or or path line or passage and I feel like those pause marks definitely add a little something extra to most of the poems because it's almost as if like well actually it is I mean I I think the way I interpret the way I interpreted most of these poems is like it starts off with like the first two lines are about say something like I don't know, some kind of scientific thing. And then there's a pause mark. The next two lines after the pause mark are something much more philosophical. You know, and then so on and so forth. And um, I, Again, that's that's how I interpret it. I mean, that's... That's how it... It seems like seems like to me like, you know, um, the author, the poet, she pretty much, I guess, envisioned uh, the way in which she wanted her poems to be read. So, therefore, including these pause marks. And so, 
Yeah, and which again, I, I say I, I believe actually not only makes sense but adds something to the poem, so something extra. Um, so I mean, as far as you know, a rating goes. Obviously, I know it can be hard to rate poetry, but still, I, I like doing it anyway. That's, I mean, and plus, you know, I'm I'm committed to reading more poetry. This year, definitely. So, as far as the rating goes, I'm going to give this... I, You know what? I'm going to give it five stars. Yes. Yeah, five stars. Because I, I like that, you know, it's... In a way, it's kind of like... I mean, if when I compare this to other collections, like, say, Milk and Honey, or... Uh, I don't even know. When I, or, like, other contemporary poetry collections and this is definitely one of my favorites uh definitely one of my favorites because yeah i mean it's it's just my kind of poetry it's, uh so and it and definitely you know <clears throat> in fact i would say this is the kind of collection that i wouldn't mind reading more than once more than twice more than a handful of times and so yeah just you know, in in a way, it also invokes different things here and there. So, yeah. Therefore, my five star rating. So, there you go. That'll do for for that'll do for my review of Next Life by Ray Armand Trout. So, oh yeah, I also like the cover of this. It's like an old photograph, and there's a woman. Looks like she's conjuring up a beam of light or something, and uh, I'd actually like to find out more about the photograph too, the cover. And so, yeah. So that'll do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, till next time. Don't forget, keep it real. Keep on rocking. And peace. <laughs>